young age at Rari PCA Church. He has been a member of the PCA Church until his passing. Education. The late Jackson Mariani was a dedicated student and always the top in his class. He began his education at Rari Primary School, walking to and from the school, then to Rani Primary Secondary School, where he completed his primary education and passed his exams. He showed a particular affinity and brilliance for maths and science, and he insisted on going to a better technical school to pursue technical education. After leaving Kabete Technical School, he proceeded to Kenya Polytechnic for further studies, where he graduated with a higher diploma in mechanical engineering. He would then proceed to London for a degree in mechanical engineering. He emerged the best in his class from Commonwealth countries. Marriage. Jackson Mirani was husband to Celia Wamboy and next husband to Nancy Wangeshi. Father to the late Joan Kirigo, Stephen Gashagwa of Canada, Kevin Kimani, and Emma Alice Derry, USA. Father-in-law to Phoebe Mongeli, grandfather to Charlotte Wangeshi, Francois Rirani, and Flavia Joy Wamboy. Career and work. In his career, Jack proved he was an excellent manager with a keen eye for detail and an astute businessman. Upon completing his education, he worked with Metalbox Kenya at Thika as a sales manager. He later worked at Gallian Roberts, where he was technical manager in Nairobi before he ventured into private business, forming his company, Technical Supplies and Services, where he installed irrigation systems in Kajago, Narok, and Kiambu. He also worked with his brothers in Mars Enterprise, AAA construction companies, and others. Contribution to family and society. Jack was a leader, both in his family and in the larger society. He used his knowledge, skills, leadership qualities to the aid of his relatives and to train others in the community. Throughout his life, Jack was passionate about family and always stepped in where he saw a need or was required. Carrying forward his father's passion for education, he saw to the schooling of all his younger siblings. He built a house for his mother and installed an irrigation system for her. Over the years, Jack graciously hosted the family for Christmas dinners and many fond memories were made here. As the leader of the Kirigo family, Jack was a voice of reason and a well of wisdom. He saw to the mentorship of not just his own children, but to his nieces, nephews, and grandchildren. He was present for every family event and occasion, ready to offer laughs, encouragement, reminiscent stories, and advice in equal measure. When he retired, Jack took up the mantle of listening to local issues and served as an invaluable source to his brothers, the late Governor Andrew Gashagwa, and His Excellency, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, ensuring they were always appraised of the needs of the people and the pulse of the community. In this responsibility, Jack was amiable and well-loved, and it was known by all that if it had been raised to him, it would surely be followed through. Jack was passionate about agriculture and irrigation farming, particularly in the need to reduce the reliance on rain-fed agriculture. He volunteered in the Sagana Water Project by installing and training the local youth in plumbing. It was through his team that the Sagana Water Project, that the Sagana Water Project became a huge success. In addition, Jack lent his assistance towards Hika Water Project, Ruturu Water Project, River Sagana Restoration Water Project. He was instrumental in the technical aspects piping, identifying viable water sources, and in getting everything required to have the project set up and efficiently run. Mm -hmm. Sickness. The late Jackson was suffering from diabetes, arthritis, and hypertension for a long time. He was treated in various hospitals, including Karen Hospital, Outspan Hospital, Kikuyu Hospital, and India. On Saturday, the 24th September 2002, 2022, at night, he felt unwell 
and was rushed to Jani Hospital, Karate. While being stabilized at the hospital, he passed away from, according to the doctors, a diabetic coma. He passed on at the age of 70 years. It is the Lord who gave us Jackson Liran, and it is him who has called him. May his name be praised. Amen. Niki hitwa ukumuni loho nini na hamani Niki bitwa kiyake Peace. I will always love you. 
At an early age, he made me a reader and taught me to take interest in the pre-colonial period. At this time, society used its knowledge to the benefit of all natural things. He insisted that human beings were also natural things. The time, I believe, is drawing near when everybody will appreciate the climate crisis and Kenya's energy advantage as my father did. My father's moral convictions were very much like the prophet Micah's. They were delivered to me with a passion and force from decision from him. Even at an early age at which I watched him, I watched with him the activism of the late Professor Wangari Mathai, I imbibed, I imbibed from that work and his comments a deep respect for the for what she described as the way people related to the environment in former times. As occasion arose as I grew up, my father's main moral inculcations involved veracity, perseverance, justice, and temperance, to which he added a significant portion of prayer, readiness to encounter pain, and especially labor, regard for the public good. Moreover, he estimated people according to their merit and things according to their intrinsic usefulness. Finally, he imparted on me the importance of a life of, of exertion as opposed to one of self-indulgent sloth. When we lost my sister Joanne, my dad offered these words. People never really die. They continue to live in the minds of those who met them in life. My father shall never die in my memory. On the day that Dr. Wajaria, my aunt, called me to tell me that my father was gone, I had the feeling where your life flashes past before your eyes. 
My father's words in the past were brought to my mind when I told him about something similar. He said, that flash is called living, son. Live your life. I thought it was a very profound thought. My father was a very intense man. Goodbye, father. I love you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. Let us appreciate them once again as I invite Kelvin Kamau Lilian to make a tribute. Kelvin Kamau Lilian to make a tribute. Mari hapa sikuta kilini esimiwe Our guest to come and make a tribute. He go the safari. the President of the Republic of Kenya, all protocols observed. observed. My name is Shale Ririani Gashagwa, and here is my tribute to my grandfather. My grandfather is such a precious gift from above for us to love and treasure. Even when you are gone to be with the Lord, you will be in our hearts forever. We shall never forget the precious moments that we shared together. Your memory will forever remain fresh in our minds, but we take consolation in the fact that all is not lost and that mortal we are. We shall surely meet again. So until we meet again, we say goodbye and may the good Lord give you a peaceful rest. Thank you. Asante sana. I will invite Jane to come and make a tribute to Pewe Wimbo as he comes. the President of Kenya, His Excellency the Deputy President, the First Lady, the Second Lady, the Church, the family of the Gashagwa family, the Gashagwa family I mean, all protocols observed. My name is Jane Wadaya. I'll be reading my untribute on behalf of Eunice Nyangari. She requested it in Kikuyu. Jack Reliani Arari Morowa Maito, Uriaojo Kete. Nidramu edete mono mono. Maudu ini makwa, hakuhe mothe, nidramu uragia ade hithia na mataro. Niturati hithia na hithia mono, maudu ini gurani gurani. Dathi ya dhifitari, akorago hakuhe, omu dhenya, kodora, na kuhe hinya. Arwara, nidrathi ya hako mutuara dhifitari, na kuhikarania nake. Lirianine murata wako awa hakuhe mono. Gaya arekile kuedagu wake, Aramu waya, aramu tuwara kurea tuwara ka atheru wake. Diena waya gaririani, huroko haromu wana wito. God bless you. 
Thank you so much. God bless you. I will now invite uh, the presbyter, the moderator, Leverage Maina, to come and also take over the next tributes. Santi sana karani, we tu a presbyter. Ngitaka kwanza kupokea kuetuetewe tribute. Kwa niyaba makanisa, tuko na chairman wa APEC, Bishop Dr. Daniel Kafono, kuje ili atuetewe mulabilabi. Hiyo ina jumuisha makanisa mengi sana, mbao iko ada patronage ya Dr. Lugadhi Gashagwa. Kwa hivyo karibu sana. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, and uh, Mama Risho, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, together with our patron in APEC, Dr. and Pastor Dorcas, the family of uh, Jackson, all protocols of Tabd, together, sorry, together with the Kraje with me here. Uh, my name is uh, Bishop Daniel Kabono. I lead the Kraje by default, and uh, I am standing here in the presence of you uh, first and foremost to tell the family that the Kraje uh, of Kenya, who I lead, are together with you. I want to mention this specifically to the family of Gachagua, where we have the deputy president, that the clergy are with you, they are praying for you, they respect you, and they honor you. And in this time of uh, sadness, they are studying with you wherever they are, because they know there is this ceremony today. Secondly, I would want to say on behalf of the clergy that uh, uh, our uh, president, the guidance that you gave for the prayers on Thanksgiving Sunday, we are doing something about that. We are praying, we are organizing ourselves in every church, every corner of this country. Uh, thirdly, I must say the clergy are looking forward to the revival that we expect to come in this land. The purpose of APEC was revival, and we pray a day will come not like this where we have a day of sadness, but where we will meet in a congregation like this one to praise God, to honor God, to hear his word shared to us by the clergy that we have. Thank you so much. I would want to take this opportunity to give one of our fathers so that he can say something and bring the condolences of the fathers that we have in this country. Uh, help me to bring Dr. Moffat Kirioba. Let's put our hands together. Your Excellency, President of the Great Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, and Her Excellency, Rachel Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of this Great Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagwa, and Her Excellency, uh, Pastor Dorcas, all the distinguished guests who have come to stand with the family at this critical hour of need. The clergy, my fellow bishops, men of God, we are standing here in a representation. We are standing here on behalf of many people. And we are standing here to say, Your Excellency, we love you. When you are down, we are down. When you are crying, we are crying with you. And we felt we needed to bring our representation here so that we send a clear message. Nyinyi ni wetu. Now, we will continue to pray for you. The Lord will give you strength. The Lord will give you wisdom. 
so that you are able to drive these two great vehicles, the vehicle called Kenya and the vehicle called your family. You are now in charge of this family. Your elder brother is gone. No me back man solo. We are going to pray for you. And we know you will not fail in both areas. You are going to succeed because we are praying. God bless you. May I also have the honor to, uh, to invite Bishop Wanjohi, who represents the clergy in Mount Kenya region and beyond, a very, very good man, Kalibu Sana, and you may Krisha Makanisa Mengi Sana, Kalibu. Your Excellency, the fifth President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the son from this lad, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigathi Gashagua, the First Lady and the Deputy, uh, the Second Lady, praise the Lord. I stand here on behalf of the Mount Kenya clergy, and I have this to say, and because it is in a written form, I want to request all the clergy who are from Mount Kenya kindly to be up studying as I read this. My chairman, you also come from Mount Kenya. <laughs> be before I read this, allow me, Your Excellency, to first congratulate you upon your election and being given the mantle by the people of Kenya and God Almighty to be the fifth president. Kindly receive our congratulations as the clergy. Number two, I want to appreciate you as a son of Nyeri for choosing our big brother to be with you for the next Dutch. Again, thank you very much. Thank you very much. On behalf of Nyeri, on behalf of the church, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Having said that, allow me to read what is in this blue paper. It is with great sorrow that we learned of the passing of the elder brother to the deputy president, the late Jackson Eliya Nigashagua, on 24th of September, year 2022. On behalf of the church in Nyeri at Mount Kenya, we would like to extend our deepest condolence to your family and the entire county. The late Jackson was among the first people in Nyeri to scale the heights of education. He has been a pillar in the society. He took up the role of a father to his siblings and ensured that they all got a good education. Indeed, the soil of Nyeri is mourning the loss of a son, a mentor, and a coach. The late Jackson was a shrewd businessman and a farmer, an icon who will be remembered for the selfless manner in which he supported the less privileged in the community. He is, he was a gem, a man of few words, but full of action. Like the biblical Simon in Luke 2, verse 25 to 35, whom the Holy Spirit revealed that he would live to see Jesus Christ the Messiah, Jackson lived to witness his younger brother, His Excellency Ligadi Gashagua, ascended in the second most highest position of leadership in the country, and he became the deputy president of the Republic 
of Kenya. The late Jackson fought the good fight of faith, according to 1 Timothy 6.12. And although he is no longer with us, we are confident that God whom he served is faithful to be the pillar of fire and the cloud even uh, when he is gone. The church in Mount Kenya dearly mourn this departed hero. A man who mentored many and led many by example. His memories will forever remain in our heart. To his wife and children, know that the church will continue to pray for you and we declare that the seed of our brother Jackson will remain to be great in this land of Kenya and beyond. Kindly accept our deepest sympathies. May his soul rest in internal peace. God bless you. So in brief, we want to also acknowledge the presence of the Catholic fraternity, and we have uh, our father to, to represent the Catholic fraternity. Karibu sana, my friend. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, Her Excellency, the First Lady, Rachel Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Honorable Regade Gashagua, son of this place, and mourning together with your family today, Her Excellency Pastor Dr. Dorcas Regade Gashagua. Distinguished guests and leaders, all protocols observed, dear mourners and friends, God is good, and all the time. So I stand here on behalf of the Catholic Church also, on behalf of my brother priests, and I begin by asking them to stand those who are present today. Kindly fathers, led by our parish priest for this region, Father John, thank you so much, dear Father. Let us appreciate them with a clap. <laughs> Your Excellency the President, we were here yesterday and we were given a chance to preach and have the Mass. So we appreciate the Presbyterian Church of East Africa for that rare opportunity. Towards the end, we want to say that we are very much together. First of all, Your Excellency, to congratulate you upon you taking over as the president and the Gade Gashagwa as the deputy president. We want to assure you of our support as a church and praying for you. You have a huge task, but God is going to help you. With God, as the Bible says, we shall do bravely. So count on our support, our spiritual support and guidance wherever you may need it. I am sure the church and you are friends of the church and you are friends of God. Finally, to Mama Cecilia Reriani, Gashagwa, and the family of the Gashagwas. We are here as your friends. We want to wish you God's peace at this moment, and we want to tell you that the Lord, the Good Shepherd, will lead you through this dark valley of death, and his rod and staff will guide you through, and he is going to take you, as we said yesterday, find repose in green pastures. So thank you very much. And we are very much together, and may God bless all of us. Thank you very much. So, one way again, Nita Wauliza was young, but we just want to acknowledge your presence uh, representing churches. So, Kuna Bishop from Mombasa, and Nyabi Alifika Kitambo, and I represent here region, Tamuliza Kohachi Masimame, I wave the crowd. I call a message of condolences. All the region here Mombasa. Kuna hand of uh, the redeemed church. Sijui kama uh, bado wako. Kuna kanisa ambao ilikuwa inashunga mama Sicilia. Uh, Kalemi, Bishop Kalemi na Masharia. Iyo kanisa. Nigani? Pefa. Pefa. Another. Nani, our brothers. Tunafanya kazi na wao. Kuna... Independent, Naona Bishop Gitonga. Gitonga, you pale. Bishops from uh, independent churches, wamekua waki to Saidia Sana. Uh, Siju kama Taweza Kutaja Wote, Lakini Atakama Sita Kutaja, Sigeweza Kujua Nyote, 
but we appreciate your coming. We thank you for your coming and for your condolences. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much, my moderator, for job well done, and may God bless you. Let us appreciate him. We now want to have a few choirs, and uh, we have a number of them, but I think we have limited time, so when we call you, make just the presentation, and we will start with the Ngogoro PCA. Mukoapi. They will be followed by Po Waiganjo. Karibuni sana.
sana, asante sana. God bless you. Thank you so much. I will now invite Paul Waiganjo. And as Waiganjo will be doing his uh, presentation, we will be preparing ourselves to give our offering. And I will ask the team in charge of that to be ready. So that when Waiganjo will be making his presentation, then we will be doing our offering. Waiganjo. Uh, thank you. Uh, praise the Lord. I want to sing a Kikuyu song, one of the favorite songs that uh, Deputy President loves called We Gai Mahida Mothe. In Kikuyu, is, I mean in English, to say that you are God in all situations and in all seasons. Even in such a time that the family and the entire uh, Nyeri is mourning, he still remains to be God. Mawiko, Mawiko, Makuengai, Nimange, Gagi, Amuno, Jerashia, Kushia, Odingu, Naweho, Kekumu, Inge, Unchekago, Magekania, Nandonde.
mkoa wa Iganjo. Let us appreciate you him once again. Thank you so much. May God bless you for giving us that good number. I will now call Karatina PCA. And please just to Yeah, just one number. Sansabilitu kwa sababu ya masa. They will be followed by Victor's Chapel. Wawe wanajitayarisha. The, the song is so good it is good and good but because of time to listen and it just to stand up for if you are victor's chapel na nyinyi tunaomba tu just to kwa sababu ya masaa kuna watu wanakimbia mahali kuna watu wanaenda mahali kwa sababu ya hiyo tafadhali mkumbuke this is a great day for us Oh 
musikai, musikai, from the spiritual intelligence. <laughs> Hello? I know that that is one of the songs that our undertari is excellency the president loves much. Kwa hivyo nitaomba tusimame hiyo ingine tuimbe tukua pamoja na yeye. So the last one now you do it all of us. Hallelujah. Baba hata mama wanaweza kuniacha. Marafiki marafiki nao wanaweza nige to pray for the offertory so let's join in a prayer of faith almighty god again we want to celebrate your love and your faithfulness for all of us we thank you because you're the source and the fountain of every good thing and this mid-morning we want to continue asking you oh father that you accept our sacrifices of praise and honor to you even as we present to you now the offertory that have been given by your people, even as we pray that you bless them and even consecrate them as they go to do the work, the noble work for the father and of your kingdom here on earth. Them that have given, almighty God bless them. Them that have not given because they, they don't have, you are God of abundance. May you also bless them. And this is our prayer of faith in the name of God the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much. You can gather them together and uh, we'll receive them. We can have our seats. As I invite Catholic, mainly Catholic, to make two stanzas, please. They will be followed, and uh, this is the closing team, Iriga Gauss. Iriga Gauss, Watafuatilia, Kwa hivyo, wawe wanajipanga. Miri Catholic, wako api? It's like they are not lady. Iriga girls, come and make... Okay, I can see them. I 
Katika girls wawe karibu we are much behind our time so I will request them to come closer Ni wengi ni wengi can you be starting maybe because ni wengi ni wengi ni wengi ni wengi Then Elega girls please be up starting near the entry point Elega girls be just near the entrance Shangiria huyu mama ambaye alikuwa anaongoza hicho kikundi she has done it very wonderfully let's celebrate her thank you so much Elega girls can you now take the podium Elega girls and we are proud to see you here it is now your time to make your presentation and because we are limited by time only two stanzas
Congratulations before I give it to the monitor of the presbytery. I will ask all the elders who are PCing Gorano Parish, Ambawako Katika Kikawiki Wasimame. Ah, thank you so much. Let us wave the crowd. Asante Sana, Muketi. Uh Kwa Presbytery Yakiganjo, we have our monitor level. Maina, who is here with us, and I now take all this opportunity to invite him so that he can recognize, recognize the other ministers present. But before I sit down, let me say my name is Elias Bundi Mtuameriti. Christ is my personal savior, and I want to once again welcome you in our presbytery, Kiganjo. Welcome, Mondorita. Asante sana karani sitachukua muda mrefu lakini ningetaka kusema wachungaji wasimame washungaji wote wa PCA wale wako uh, wasimame na wame represent wengi sana in the Republic of Kenya uh, you are welcome in, the, in this uh, uh, area may god bless you uh, tena tuko na baraka kuu kuweza kuwa na past moderator wetu Reverend Dr Jessica Mau ambaye ndiye ataleta neno la Mungu Na tena tuko na past moderator uh, yule abaye uh, ame, uh, ametoka ofisi saa hizi about kuweka system ingine anaitwa level dr Mwamba na yeye ako pamoja na sisi na wote wako na kazi ya kufanya kwa hivyo wataendelea na kazi hiyo thank you very much I'll also request all the ministers of wand ambao wako katika kikao hiki tuko wengi tusimame sisi wote wachungaji ambao tuko nao na hata kama kuna wengine wako huko wakubali kusimama we want to recognize your presence all pastors bishops apostles everyone let us all ah they are here in great numbers let us appreciate them and may god bless you for coming god bless you god bless you asante sana na mungu awabariki hear the word of God and I will invite the one who is doing the leading to come and do Masters, when we live or when we die while we live we live to please the Lord and when we die we go to be with the Lord so in life and in death we belong to the Lord Christ died and rose again for this very purpose 
so that he might be Lord of those who are alive and of those who are dead. So why do you condemn another Christian? Why do you look down on another Christian? Remember, each of us will stand personally before the judgment seat of God. For the scriptures say, as sure as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow to me, and every tongue will confess allegiance to God. Yes, each of us will have to give a personal account to God. So don't condemn each other anymore. Decide instead to live in such a way that you will not put an obstacle in another Christian's path. I know and I'm perfectly sure on the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that no food in and of itself is wrong to eat, but someone believes in it is wrong, then for that person it is wrong. May God bless us as we continue to meditate the word of God. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. I also understand that we have other PCA elders from other places. Are you in the house? Tuwaone. Elders wa kanisa kutoka parokia zingine, presbytery zingine, ambao amekuja. Wawakouko, we thank you for coming. I will ask the priest team to give us the number. Chakutumaini sina, ndiyo tusikie neno la mungu. Tusimame. Chakutumaini sina, ilanda mungu ya mysteriously present with us here. We worship you, we praise you, we adore you, and we humble ourselves before you in appreciation of your love, in appreciation of life given to us, and the coming down and the salvation given through the person of Jesus Christ the Messiah, so that in us there is hope. Even as we face death, there is still hope because of Jesus who came and he lives. So guide us now that we may be able to overcome death by seeing ahead of and beyond death and seeing even eternal life, which we do anticipate in faith. 
so will help us God. In the name of him who came to make people who were useless now useful and to make us living both now towards eternity. Jesus Christ, the Lord, the Savior. Amen. 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 Ketini. Nataka kuwa kasalimieni nyinyi nyote kwanza tukimwalika Mungu kati yetu atuogoze and the entire congregation and this area we are happy to receive raisi wa jamhuri yetu ya Kenya his excellency dr william ruto na Excellency Mrs. Ruto, who has come along with her husband, and also uh, the Deputy President, His Excellency Rigathi Gashagua, Nahata Mashmiwa Wetu, Dorcas Pastor Rigathi. We have ministers of government with us here. We have governors. We have senators, MCAs, women reps, kuna hata wabunge hapa na pale, na vire vire tuafurahia sana wachugaji waliokuja, and we long for the day and time when the good Lord will put the whole family of the, of the churches together, that we may become one, following one master, the Savior, who binds us together in his love. Yes. Yes. Pastors, don't worry. Like a pair of scissors, a pair of scissors has got two blades, and if the two blades come together, then open up, then come together, then open up. The pair of scissors says, we separate to operate. We separate to operate. So, even when members of the Catholic Church and the Corino and the Bel whoever, all of them, not that we hate each other, we separate to operate. All other guests who are gathered here, all protocols we observed. Netena members of the church and the Herega community of which I was its minister I think about 50 years ago. 50 years ago I was in this area as a church minister and I am happy to be back. Together Tukiatumia maneno yaliyo katika Isaiah 40 inasema watulizeni moyo watulizeni moyo watu wangu asema bwana comfort 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 my people says the lord na hata kama kumekuweko na maafa Hata ku, kama kumekuweko na majeraha, tomshifu mungu alie kiongozi wa maisha, ambaye yeye mwenyewe, he is the creator, he is the owner of life, and it pleases him to give whoever it is life in a beginning and continue it step by step, step by step, step by step. And God himself is actually not like he is actually the managing director. He is in heaven. He manages. He directs. So we come. We are born. We, we appear from one gate there like the door there into the arena of life. We perform, 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 perform for some days. And shortly after, we exit to the west. So we enter there, appear in the arena. Sheza, sheza, fanya, fanya. If you stay idle, shauri yako. Within a short time, 
surprisingly, then you exit to the, to the, to the, to the west. We are thankful that God has given us life. And we are thankful that he is a good manager. He manages, he directs, he guides, he shepherds, he helps us. Na tunatumaini huyo huyo atatusaidia. Na tukisema habari ya maisha in life as we been sitting on the escalator calling life. We thank God for the history of Kenya since the days when we are under the colonial regimes. And now, again, from time to time, God has been upgrading, changing us, and helping us. And today we are happy, even as we receive uh, now the president of Kenya. He, he used to come around here as a good friend, coming here, there. Kisema maneno natukaskia. Although this is a very difficult moment for the family. But we say even during the Mambo ya Siasa, Siasa imekuwa na majara hakidogo hapa mbala na ushovu na ushovu. Isn't it time now to relax and get healed? Get healed. And, and, and adjust where we can. And bridge, bridge, put bridges between this and that and the other. Kama kuna kitu cha kusamehea na twende mbele twende mbele tujenge taifa ya Kenya. Na kwa hivyo ni vizuri sana. Lakini so, zote wacha niseme yaliyotuleta hapa leo tumesema tumekuja kulia pamoja na the family of the Gachaguas because both today now and in recent history this kind of thing has been occurring. And we know, just as it happened in many other families. And so we have come to say, Paul, eh, and praying that God may will console them beyond words. Beyond words. More than what we, friends and neighbors and churches surrounding, we can be able to do. Na nataka niseme maneno ya rio kakatika wa korinto wa pili sura ya kwanza msari wa tatu nasema mungu baba anaitwa mungu mungu baba wa faraja awa fariji nyinyi nyote the gashaguas and other people who might have been wounded awa fariji nyinyi nyote na ahuishe nafsi zenu the word huisha katika kamusi ya kiswahili it has a connotation of healing some of the injuries that are inside that are, cannot be healed by just two, throwing words. Ahuisha nafsi zenu na hata aendele kuwashauri so that life continues even as these things have happened. Miaka ya zamani, mzee moja anaitu ayubu alipigwa pigo kubwa sana na tena haikuwa inaeleweka kwa nini lakini mesemo yanasemwa mengi mengi lakini katika hayo yote kwa ajili ya imani yake hata ingawa alipigwa pigo kubwa sana watu wake wengi moja watatu wengi wengi na mali zake zikashukuriwa zikaharibika kwa imani kama ninavyoangalia nyinyi kwa glasses zangu nikiangalia hivi naona tofauti nikiangalia kwa glasses naona tofauti and he looked at things through the eye of god he looked at things at a point of view of god and in it he refused to sink or to say anything evil alisema ni bwana aliyempeana huu aliyawapeana hawa ni bwana alikuwa ameweka na anatunza na ni bwana ameshukua akasema jambo kubwa sana sio rahisi kusema wakati wa huzuni kama hii huu jina la bwana lisifiwe and we believe according to what we are hearing and what we are reading the background of the family here although these people have had uh, this 
huge, heavy impact. They have no complaint about God who is both the pastor and the administrator of our lives. He is a pastor and an administrator of our lives. So the family, together we join you to say, Gina Rabwana Lisithiwe. Family and friends, Pokeni Faraja. Faraja zetu sisi tulio wazunguka. Wachugaji wamekuja wengi, as you can see. What marafiki wamekuja wengi kutoka neighborhood. And we must appreciate even their friends who have come from very far. From far. And they have come because they want to unite together in bringing consolation to this family. Pokeni Faraja, the Gachaguas. Kutoka kwa wa Kristo, pengine hata jui, pengine kuna muislama mekuja, na wale wa mekuja kwa ajili ya ujirani, na wale wa mekuja. Na sasa, tuwaomba ya kwamba, mungu mwenye nyema na rehema awa fariji. Both now, when we are so many, grief doesn't hurt us much as later in the evening, at night when you are alone. And even Mrs. Um, Rediani, we pray and pray for you that even during the moment when you are alone, remember, please remember, it is God who gave. And because of his administrative, pastoral reasons, hatujui, hatumurizi maswari, amemuita, amemuodoa. Ilisomwa hivi katika 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 uh, Biblia No one lives to himself but unto the Lord And none, none of us dies to himself or herself but again unto the Lord If we live we live because of the Lord and in the Lord. If we die, then we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we still belong to God. Why? Because you see, Christ died, and when Christ died, he came and conquered sin and death, bringing hope bringing the revolutionary changes that were coming so that people who were lost can now be found and can be given a new identity that they belong to God. Christ died for this purpose that the dead may have life to continue. Therefore, our duty is not now to criticize each other or despise each other but our duty is to uphold each other. If you want to be known who you are and what you do, it is not by pushing others, by condemning others, by judging others, but it is by receiving, embracing, relating, and being one with others. And then you can see then God is Emmanuel. Amen. God who brings his family together. It is the devil who disperses. It is the devil who brings enmity. Now it is good even the Siasa people. That although you've been running here, Sema Maneno, 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 because you belong to God, the good Lord will still ultimately bring you together and hold you together and keep you together as a family that honors God. And we are happy about that. However, let us also remember, as it is written, Jesus said, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow before me, and every tongue shall confess to God. Acknowledge him to his honor and to his praise. Like I said, we enter through one gate into the arena of life. Come and live for some time, we don't know how long. Do, do what we can, be, be what we want to be, live, 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 go on. If you do nothing, if you do something, but then God will surprise you 
when the bell is rung, it is time up. Whatever you are doing, stop, go. Remember, all of us, me first and you, we shall stand before God and confess all that we have done. And each one shall give an account of himself. Give answers in the reference of judgment to God. Never, never excuse yourself because over there we have to do that. So this is important. Na maneno haya ni yamana sana tuyashike kwa sababu sote tutasimama bere ya kiti shabwana na tutaulizwa kama itakavyo mpedeza atatuliza maswali na tutapiga magoti tukijibu ni nini na nini tunamaisha kama tunavyoishi kama Mungu anavyotulinda na anatuongoza swali ni hili as we were born and put into the world na Bwana akatupatia roho huyo wa kupatana na yeye si tuko karibu mwangu ulimwenguni na yeye yuko juu he gave us his spirit his and even mind so that then there, there is personal awareness of god now we must live a life that is directed by him controlled by him knowing god and accepting god god in jesus christ as he says this is the way therefore friends all of us who have come whoever you are whoever you are everybody all of us no politics no none, nothing else but all of us together there is no alternative route this is the way there is no shortcut there is no excuse as we understand god has put a way then we have to live a life that is that is ascribed to him life that he fears him because there is no alternative route there is no shortcut there is no excuse we have to live a life that is directed ezekiel 18 verse 4 says roho zote ni mali yangu ya nani au ya nani ezekiel 18 verse 4 roho zote ni mali yangu kama ni ile roho ya baba au ni ya mtoto zote ni zangu na mwisho kumaliza katika vazi hiyo inasema roho ile itendayo dhambi itahukumiwa ya nani ya nani au ya nani ikianza na ya pasta roho zote ni zake Mwenyezi Mungu therefore everybody of necessity as a matter of priority we have to live a life that is that belongs to god that is governed by god that is led by god and then god will make life so meaningful and even fruitful and 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 and, and beautified by his presence god has given us a spirit that governs us and he has given us might to know and to understand him and he guides us every day so it is important whatever you do Zamani watu walikuwa wakisema wachugaji wale ambao navaa nguo kama hizi wakifunga chingo ati ndio wanafanya kazi ya bwana no no longer every baptized christian you serve the lord and you are a witness whatever you do wherever you work so it is important that you live a life that is meaningful one you have to be closely related intimately related with the god through Jesus Christ I'm speaking as a Christian every day in every situation it matters it is a matter of necessity it is actually the prerequisite other things follow how do you live related with the god it is important number 2 how do you wewe ni nani wewe mwenyewe ni nani inside yourself what past kind of person have you become who are you in yourself who are you in yourself and who are you before god and even then number three, how do we live in a relationship with other people 
associate, associated with other people, serving other people, and uh, therefore people are important because of who they are, their relationship with God, and then the kind of person you present yourself in the family. The man who is now gone is a was a family man. Now, although he is gone, he will be remembered in his family because of his family life. And it is very important that we challenge all men, all men who at one time are called a brother, who are at one time called a husband, who are at one time called a, a, a father, a father. Way, way back when I was in Teto, being a parish minister, there's a man who died. And when I went to see the family a few days later, a lady told us, Pastor, we feel relieved. This man was terrible. We feel relieved. And I have also found one a lady who also was happy when her, her husband died somewhere in Kangemi because he was used to be cruel. Men, what kind of husbands are we at home? What kind of people are we in the villages? The same with you mothers. You are a mother, you are a sister, you are somebody's wife. And even also brothers and sisters, siblings. In the family we need to recognize each other, accept one another, and love each other and serve one another. The reason why I'm saying this is because it is this, 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 this year, last year, the last, I think about 15 years, there has been a lot of squabbles and conflict within a family. Good people misunderstanding each other, good people hurting each other. Therefore, families are crying. Families are crying. Again, it is important the kind of person you are when you are living and a good husband who will leave a good legacy, a good man, a good husband, a good father, a good neighbor, and the community will be remembering you. New money in the community at a taifa. There is this song that we sing every day. Natuchenge taifa le tu alafu nasema ndio wajibu wetu na unasema before you go to jenga taifa please jenga yourself <laughs> number 2 jenga home after you have jenga the home nenda ukajenga taifa watu gani anakwenda kujenga taifa na nyumbani na boromoka wamewasha mke na oza watoto wamewashwa before you go to kujenga taifa jenga home so that even when you die j j j serving the nation you will have done something that will leave some legacy and some foundation at home. Na tujenge jami zetu. Na tujenge community zetu. Kisha tuwe mafundi wa kujenga taifa letu. Remember life is short. Nobody knows when God is going to call us. Time in this world is may be relatively, even surprisingly, too short. So, express one your relationship and service with to other people. Wewe mwenyewe, relate with other people well, serve other people. Then also you educated the people. Translate education, translate education into relationship and service. Are you an educated man? How do we know? Translate this through relationship with other people. Number two, how you also serve other people, then we know who you are and what you claim to be, if you are an educated person. Do you do what you can with what you have? What do you have? Who are you? Do what you can with what you have, where you are. Before you live here to go to Somalia, before you live here to go to Uganda, before you go here to go to... Do what you can with what you have, where you are. Leave an impact so that we're told that God is at work in us. What does it really do? An engine within a car will motivate, an engine, will motivate a car and make it move. If God is in us, does he motivate us into action? Where we go and do things that you say, for sure, God has been with me. What is knowledge doing again, I ask? There are many now very, very educated people. Where 
where is the education that has been accumulating for years and years and years? Where is the result of the, a lot of education of a high level? Where is it now? And what is also maturity doing? Because, please, I am not going to be rude. I am not going to hurt anybody. I'm not going to hurt anybody. But there are people who are grown up. Now, even when their age, what my age there that I have now, you are still that boy, that boy, long ago you used to be. When will you grow? When will you grow? You're still that boy that was there 70 or beyond years ago. Maturity. What is maturity doing in us? Expressed in terms of, again, service relationship. So I warn you, everybody, I am about to close. There are two things that have been said by people who teach us sociology. That you are either useful, you are either useful to yourself and to others, you are either useful to yourself or to others, or you are useless. <laughs> and there is no neutrality. And here in the community, you are either useful or useless. Until you interpret knowledge, faith, yourself into an action, let it do, and then songesha katika kujega taifa. How do you just die before you are, when you are nobody? Because you become somebody through your witness. Kuna nyakati za taabu, has, he, has you can, they are inevitable. Life goes through series of tests, problems, big and small. They come and go, some of them persist. Please be yourself. Be with the God. Na utumie hekma na neema. Uishi wakati wa shida. Don't melt. Don't evaporate. Keep on keeping on till the day you die die a giant, yes. a man in faith, because problems are inevitable. They come, yes. and they come to test your maturity, they come to test your education, they come to test your faith. Do you prove that you are who you are, what you have said you are, until the day you die? Then we say, this is so and so who was so strong when he lived. Lakini vile famoja na hiyo, nyinyi wa Kristo, Use your faith to interpret what you see. May the grace of God keep you going and help you. Vumiria tabu zote na shida zote. Na kama wimbo nasema, neno lake buwana ni imala sana neno hilo lilo la tuongoza lilo la tufunza Keep on learning. Problems are inevitable. They put you in a test. They put you in a school of life. Graduate every day. Graduate every day. Before you die, graduate into maturity. Where you interpret who you are through service. Keep on graduating. Keep on graduating. Amen. Yesu ni mshindi. Akisema dani yetu. Na anasema maneno haya. Na with this one we say... Mariko 13:33 Angalieni kesheni mkiomba kwa kuwa hamjui wakati ule atakapokuja mfano wake ni kama mtu mwenyewe aliyekwenda safari na ameacha nyumba yake na kaarafu atakuja baadaye mstari wa 35 na 6 unasema kesheni kwa kuwa maana hamjui Ajapo bwana mwenye nyumba. Lata six. Asije akawasiri kwa ghafla akawakuta mmerada. Neno hilo nimewambia nini kabra hajijafika. I say this. In your agenda. In the priority of what you do. Don't be too busy for God. I say again. Listen to me. And I prayed before coming. Don't be too busy for God. Have an agenda where you let God work in you. Amen. Remember God because life belongs to him. Don't be busy to God. Otherwise, atakuja na kutupata ya kwamba, tuko katika mutego wa kuingia mambo yote. Do not be too busy to God. Don't be unaware. Don't be blind of time. Keep on using time 
carefully and wisely so that when he comes, he finds you presentable, acceptable, and glorifying. Basi angalieni msije mukawa meremewa kwa mambo mengi imewashukua kisha tukakuja kuona ya kwamba tumefungwa tumenazwa family soon we are leaving to go back to our respective places family me when i say i pray i don't lie because this is my job and i keep on doing it i'll do it i promise family tunawaombea remember the same god who lived with you when this man lived is still the same god who is going to keep you going children who are growing in that family keep on trusting god neema na faraja zake mwenyezi mungu ziwaride na ziwaweke kwa neema even when you look at the grave where we are going to place this body of this uh, man when you look at it instead of shrinking and sinking soon and a little later move your eyes from the grave and continue in life because the end may not be now lakini nasema mungu awalide awaongoze msiogope mungu anawasaidia heli kwa kem to yule aliyesamehewa dhambi zake ndivyo biblia inasema heli mtu yule ambaye mwenyezi mungu amemuondolea dhambi na heli mtu yule amekufa akiwa ndani yake mwenyezi Mungu Kenya yetu itaendelea na ni sisi Mungu atatutumia to bridge the gaps to bridge the to, to put the bridges na ni ogurumdumu ile nasunguka ndio tuweze kuendelea tunawaombea may god bless you keep you strong keep you blessed na tusione kifo tu tusione kifo tu tuone muumba wetu atakayetufufua na akayetubadilisha maisha yetu hata na kuendelea na kuendelea na pia serikali ni yetu tuna watu wengi waze wa kanisa vijana wetu serikalini many of all many 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 now kwa vile serikali iko mikononi mwetu not only are we going to be involved in doing things we shall also be involved in praying and upholding our leaders that God may lead them and guide them empowering invigorating them rejuvenating them equipping them towards victory so that again as time goes we can see the developmental stages when we are god led amen 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 we continue to pray you uh, mr president and uh, the uh, the deputy ayi sisemi atinikufurahishe ni wajib idi wajib wetu kuombea ndio wajib wetu kuombea president na dunia hii ili mambo yote yaendelee ndio wajib wetu so remember every time you find things difficult remember behind you you have a family host of uh, people who remember you family again um the gachaguas poleni nemaya bwana yesu yesu kristo ikae na nyinyi na tuombe our father god we thank you for who you are great shepherd as you gave us life into this world and you have marked the date and you have marked the way walk with us on the staircase of life as we go forward and upward ascending continue to qualify us that we may keep on graduating in a school in a, in a spiritual matters that one day we shall be graduated now to come to live with you in heaven may that peace with that passes all understanding keep us in fellowship and in union with you god our god amen amen amen
sana. Let us appreciate our church father, Reverend Jesse, for the good one. May the Lord God continue to give you more years, our dad, that you may continue to feed us with the word of God. God bless you once again. God bless you. As the family members come, so that I will invite Dr. Mwamba, our Pastor Mondorita, to have a prayer with them. Then driver, vehicle number KCZ, 733H. KCZ, 733H. Kindly, you are requested to go and attend your car or your vehicle. Family members, please come along as I invite Dr. Mwamba to make a prayer for the family as the priest team gives us a number as they come. Dr. request all the clergy to remain outstanding as we pray for them and also the other members of the congregation. Dr. Rimuamba, pray for the family. Okay, I will request all other members of the congregation to be upstanding so that we can pray for this family. Members of the family, this I want said by David in Psalm 91, which says, whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to him, you are my defender, you are my protector, you are my God, in you I trust. He will help you keep. Uh, he, will, he will keep you safe from the hidden dangers and from the deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings, and you will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not to fear any danger at night or sudden attacks during the day. Let us pray. Almighty everlasting Father, you are only as God in this life. We know very well that, Lord, you created us in your own image and you brought us to this world. You have also gone through your world, reminding us that this world is not a destination. For all of us, God, are passers by. At one level, at in one day, a certain year, Heavenly Father, all of us will leave this world and join the other world that you have prepared for us. So nobody knows the number of days he or she is going to live in this world. That's why David struggled with you, Lord, that you may teach him to number the days. But up to this point, Heavenly Father, it remains a mystery in our own lives. That's why, God, I want to commit this family into your hands. Since you are the creator, you are the protector, and you have just reminded us that, Lord, those who trust in you, those who walk with you, those whom, God, you are in them and them in you, whatever they request, Lord, you grant unto them. You are able to save them from the dangers of the world. This family, the Gachagua's family, we know you, God, to be God. I know, Lord, they are praying unto you since the day you took one of them. Heavenly Father, may you equip them with your own knowledge that they may know the Lord this world. We are all here for a short time. And all what we need going to do is Walk with you each and every day. Give them that power going to accept that Jack is going ahead of them. They are going to meet him going in that other world. Give them that, them that power, Lord, to understand 
Talonzi can't do anything because it takes your hand. Because it takes your hand, oh God. All what they need, God, is to pray that you may give them energy. That you may give them knowledge. That, Lord God, you may walk together with them. It's our humble prayer as your servants and friends who are in this house. That, Lord, may you protect this family. May you walk with us and we will stand in that gap and be able to lead to lead the family. But Lord our God, may your presence and power be together with them. Because God, the actual gap that is left by Jack, nobody else will come like Jack, but God, you will raise another leader who God will lead the family and walk, bring together the family anytime they wish to come together. Every Father, give them that energy to know you better and to walk with you each and every day. May you protect them, God, from all the dangers of this world. May you, God, walk with them, Heavenly Father, each and every day, so that in everything they will be able to glorify you and to say, Lord, your God. And as friends, so oh, Father, like the one uh, 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 the preacher has just reminded us, Heavenly Father, our obligation is just to pray for this family. Our obligation, God, is uh, to remind them the one that walked together with them, where God they need us. And so, God, may you, uh, God, walk together with them. May you, God, provide for them. May you, God, show them your mercy each and every. That grace that comes from you, let it be part of their lives. So that God, at every level of their lives, they will be experiencing that grace. For this country, God, we want to thank you for the peace that you have given us. We want to thank you for our president who is together with us, O oh God, and the deputy president who is together with us, O oh God. As they read in this country, Heavenly Father, may you walk with them each and every step, like they have acknowledged the sovereignty of God in their own lives. Heavenly Father, help us, O oh God, and help them also to lead this country, and may you direct their ways each and every day, so that at the end of the day, Heavenly Father, when we achieve success, all of us will come back as citizens of this country to glorify you and to say, Lord, you are God. Bless us and pass, O oh Lord. For we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank, Amen. You, Thank so you so much. much. God bless you. Bwana, yes, as if you we can remain seated. My tears comes when I hear the story you give about where you have come from and where you are seated now. I have also come from somewhere, and I love secular music. I learned, I listen to them. There is a gospel, no, no, a secular singer uh, called Kamande Wakioi. <laughs> and because maybe you may not get the ones, and the deputy is there, and I will hear my ones. He once sang and said, "Ngai no akolute, fulom nothing." I go to a something or you become someone. I think <laughs> Oh, it, I am I have sung it in Kingereza, or you get it. That our God can remove you from nowhere and he makes you some something and you become someone. And now that God has given you an opportunity to become someone. We want to congratulate you as members and the people of Mount Kenya to tell you once again, congratulations, our president. And may God bless you as you continue to serve this great nation. We love you so much, and may God bless you. Before I invite our joy to come and now take the program, I am a minister from Peace Yeke Maori Parish. You were once to come in our church, but you never came. I want to invite you through the church protocol. Please come and be with us. God bless you. Wajoy, take over the podium. Asante sana kanisa. Mweshimiwa Dr. William Samoei Ruto, Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, na mweshimiwa Mama Rachel Ruto. Mweshibiwa naibu wa rais Rigadi Gashagwa na mweshibiwa Pastor Dorcas Rigadi 
mama sisiri ya Ririani watoto na familia yote kwa jumla viongozi wa kidini na sote tuliofika kuomboleza na kumsidikiza dugu yetu mabibi na mabwana kwa heshima mheshimi wa rais naomba ruhusa yako niweze kuwaita viongozi wachache waweze kutoa rabirabi zao kwa familia na nitaomba kwa heshima sana wale watapata nafasi kwa heshima tuseme kwa kifupi ili tuweze kuendelea na ratiba ile ingine. i really plead for ras to make sure that we finish in good time kwa hivyo niombe viongozi ukipata nafasi tuseme kwa kifupi na kwa ruhusa yako mheshimiwa rais kwanza nitamwita yule atasema kwa niaba ya familia dr josephine wangari kwanza aje aseme kwa kifupi alafu tuendelee na wale viongozi wengine daktari karibu sana um daktari phd just to clarify i'm not a medical doctor uh, your excellency the president of this country all protocols observed reverend jesse dr mwenzangu we are here today in the arena of life and it is my humble privilege to play the role of gratitude we have been a team for the last 10 days preparing for this day i start with gratitude to god for giving us jack ririani for 70 years another gratitude to god is for giving jack ririani my brother an opportunity to celebrate his project regadi gashagwa our kid brother the last week when the inauguration was taking place we spent together in karen and the mood was good the mood was happy and i'm grateful to god that ririani lived to see that day immediately that happened he said take me home my work is done and i celebrate that having said that i want to thank the church starting with daktari mwenzangu for today's sermon i i identified with the journey of life orchestrating our roles whether good or bad it is it thank you so much the rest of the clergy those who have been with us for those 10 days and those who have been praying for us we celebrate you thank you so so much having said that dr mwenzangu your excellency the president i want to thank you for your presence here we are aware that you have a very very tight schedule yet you found time to come and be with us and for the few years there passed each time a family member has passed on you found time to be with us we can't thank you enough we celebrate you at a personal level at a very very personal level you've joined my kid brother your deputy you have a very very special part in my heart clearly special karibu sana and having said that of course you have your leadership the people who have come with you the governors the senators the ministers leaders of this country we can't appreciate you enough your schedules are tight yet you found time to come and be with the president as he comes to kodo with the family we thank you so so much as you lead this country to the next level we shall be praying for you cecilia wamboi kairito wako i call you we can't thank you enough for taking care of ririani the role you played we cannot do however much i love my brother i cannot come and cook for him i cannot come and wash his clothes 
I cannot come and ask him, you did that. We celebrate you. We love you. There are other members of the family, of course, who contributed to the well-being of my brother, especially during his time of illness. And Kevin, you took your dad to hospital, you drove him to Nairobi and back, you are there for him. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Find comfort in that you served him well for the time you are together. And the rest of us, brothers and sisters, Stephen, your children, you made his life a happy one. Thank you so, so, so much. The funeral committee, under his able leadership of, I call you Waziri because you are Waziri to me. You are a teacher like myself, MCA Honorable Karanja, under your leadership, we have worked together every day, every day to get this day to be where it was. So committee members, we appreciate you, we celebrate you. The magnitude of this kind of an arrangement requires very, very articulate process to detail. We appreciate you so, so much. The neighbors, the formal and informal groups, church groups, teachers groups, the people who came as groups, as individuals to come and bring firewood, food, money, we can't appreciate you enough. Good job. I am not sure I have forgotten somebody that is important, somebody I should have mentioned, a group that I have I should have mentioned, and I skipped mentioning. It is not practically possible to mention everybody today, but please know that we appreciate you. And the multitude that is here today, if my brother Jack was to just have a glimpse of this, if my father was to have a glimpse of this, if the late governor was to have a glimpse of this, and of course, my mother, they would say, Tukosawa. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Do Dr. Josephine. Kwa heshima naomba sasa ni mwalike mweshimiwa Eric Wamubi, mjumbe wa eneo hili, aweze tukutukaribisha kirazmi na atoe rabi rabi zeki. Mweshimiwa kwa kifupi. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoei Ruto, Your Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Wagashagua, Your Excellency, uh, the Second Lady, Pastor Dr. Dorcas Rigadi, the House of Clergy, Viongozi Wote, Ambao Wako Mahali Hapa, the Family, Na waombolezaji, buwana asifiwe, buwana asifiwe tena. Your Excellency, tumekuja hapa kupeana pole kwa familia ya Jack, the extended family ya Gashagua kwa kumpoteza rafiki yetu Jack, na tuombe familia yake ipate amani ya buwana. Before I say one or two things, Your Excellency, allow me to request all members of County Assembly from Nyeri and other counties to be upstanding. All members of County Assembly from Nyeri and other counties, Wapigieni Makofi, together with the Speaker Nyeri County, Asante Nisana Kaeni Chini. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, I want to say one or two things. And I want to first of all thank you with your deputy, Kwa Sababu Mumetuletea Fataraiza Yabeinafu. We thank you for that. Tutasaidia hawa wakulima kufanya ukulima. Lakini wa excellency, hatuna maji. Hapa hakuna maji wa excellency. Lakini si makosa yako na si makosa ya deputy. Our deputy president when he was our member of parliament. 
alikuwa ameweka pesa ya maji kwa budget na wale majamaa unawajua wakatoa hiyo pesa walitoa hiyo pesa kwa budget when deputy president declared that he is your friend i'm requesting as member of parliament for these people sababu ukisoma eulogy ya bwana jack pale chini inasema he was tired to rely on rain fed agriculture i want us to emulate jack and we revive our saganda water uh, restoration project ili hawa watu wapate maji ya kulima ama niaje your excellency tutafanya hiyo ya mwisho your excellency wakati deputy president na ninasikia kule Nairobi mnamuita Rigiji hapa tunamuita kanda ya wira sababu huyu ni kanda ya wira na atakusaidia kufanya kazi nchi hii ili tusaidie hawa mahasola na ulisema serikali yako ni bottom up and I'm a good description of bottom up your excellency at sasa mtoto wa single mother ndiye mbunge wa Madhera constituency that is a true description of bottom up barabara zetu your excellency ambazo mheshimiwa deputy president alikuwa ameweka pesa zilisimamishwa kwa sababu gani kwa sababu alisema yeye ni rafiki yako tuko na wakati fertilizer ilikuja tuliambiwa tuendee pale Keganjo Nyeri Town na ingine tuendee Mweya Sagana mimi kama mbunge wao sababu nilifundishwa na your deputy kuwa proactive tuko na stores hapa za, za NCPB hapa Karatina i want to confirm to you i want to confirm to you your excellency and the people of Madhera as we speak we have fertilizer in Karatina na ningeuliza watu wangu wa Madhera kesho wakienda hapo stores watapata fertilizer ya serikali ya bei nafuu thank you so much your excellency i want now to take this opportunity to invite our majority leader mudhoniwa mheshimiwa kemani waichongoa akuje aendelee kuendelea hapo asante sana Your Excellency Ririani and your immediate family and the extended Gashagwa family na wakazi wa Madhera Hamjambo Moreagwadho niwa No munyitereire No murato hoera Mwadhani ya muradhime Your Excellency nitaomba kwa heshima sana tulikuwa tuko wabunge wengi ambao tumekuja hapa leo kuomboleza na familia ya mama Cecilia na ndugu yetu our deputy president mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagua aka Rigiji na mheshimiwa rais sababu ya masaa tulikuwa tumejipanga sababu sisi atupangwi ngwi sisi ni watu wa kujipanga tulikuwa tumejipanga na wimbo lakini sababu mimi ni memba namba 39 district ya Kambura kanisa la PCA na past moderator ametuambia hapa that we separate in order to operate tulikuwa tume separate na wenye wako Nairobi na tuko na kikao cha bunge saa na nusu tunaomba mtusamehe tusiombe leo tusiimbe wimbo ambao tulikuwa tumepanga leo lakini kwa heshima ni wataje wabunge wenye wako hapa nikikutaja simama tu upunge mkono ili familia ione umeshirikiana na wakuomboleza tuko na chief whip wetu mheshimiwa Osoro ndiye huyo tuko na mheshimiwa Betty Maina Betty Sawa from Ranga tuko na mheshimiwa waziri Kionjori Mheshimiwa Aitu wa Laikipia East tuko na Mheshimiwa Faith Getao Nyandarwa tuko na Mheshimiwa Peter Kehongi Kangema ako pale nyuma tuko na Mheshimiwa Dede Nyoro tuko na Mheshimiwa Kagombe from Gatondo South mbunge wa rais wetu aliyestaafu ndiye huyo na ni wa chama cha UDA kama tarehe ya kiamo mbunge wa uhuru wa Kenya atanawa UDA 
newe wasio tuko na mheshimiwa kemani kuria molo mheshimiwa patrick monene chuka igamba ngombe indaraka nidhi ndiye huyo tuko na mheshimiwa kareke mbiuki mara indaraka nidhi tuko na mheshimiwa george gashagua na sio hii gashagua ni gashagua ya nyandaro Mheshimiwa Nelson Koech Belgut tuko na mheshimiwa waziri mteule Aden Bare Duale tuko na mheshimiwa waziri mteule mheshimiwa Alice Mudhoni Wahome tuko na mheshimiwa Jane Kehara Naivasha mheshimiwa Kagushia Mukuroine Tuko na mheshimiwa Johanna Gong Ngeno Emuru Adikir Tuko na mheshimiwa David Ochieng kutoka Ugenya na ni mbunge wa Kenya kwanza Mheshimiwa John Jogona Kawajiko Okareaka Moe Mheshimiwa Mary wa Maua kuma Maragoa Mheshimiwa wa Muratha from Kiambu County Mheshimiwa DMM Maina Madenge wa Nyeri Town the tallest man in the National Assembly na replace Dikuga Mheshimiwa Alice Nganga from Thika Jirani yetu Mheshimiwa Geoffrey Wandeto wa hapa tetu Mheshimiwa Njoroge wa Inaina Kieni Sieni Mheshimiwa Wainaina ama Mount Kenya wa Udhaya ndio huyo hapo tuko na mheshimiwa GK kutoka Ndia jirani yetu hapa Ndia mheshimiwa mama wa county mheshimiwa Mukami Rahab tuko na mheshimiwa Kamket wa Tiati uko Baringo North ni wa chama cha Jogo ukisikia we separated to operate tuna operate pamoja sasa na huyo wakanu tuko na mheshimiwa Majimbo Kalasinga ndio huyo from Bungoma County we also have uh, honorable Alpha Miruka Alpha Miruka ndio huyo from Kisi County honorable Mathias Robi from Kuria in Migori County and mheshimiwa Jafet Nyakundi from Kisi ndio huyo hapo Your Excellency we also have former immediate former MPs Honorable Ashiali who is with us here there our former chief whip Honorable Victor Monyaka Dr Victor Monyaka We also have Mheshimiwa Wajiko Wamo here sorry we had forgotten her member of county uh, women county MP Nyandarwa Keep Kipipiri former county MP Nyandarwa current member of parliament for Kipipiri Uria wa munyira kemunya Tuko na honorable Victor Monyaka Tuko na mheshimiwa Mashogu waziri mteule wa education Tuko na mheshimiwa Beatrice Nkadha tuko na mheshimiwa Mukonji mheshimiwa MP wa Manyata mheshimiwa Mukonji tuko na mheshimiwa Amina from Lamu County immediate former tuko na mheshimiwa Halima from Meru oh tuko na Fred Ikana tuko na mheshimiwa Meja Dong ako pale mheshimiwa Raso from Marsabit mheshimiwa Wainaina nominated member of parliament is that Florence mheshimiwa Florence Bore immediate former na waziri mteule wa Leba na tuko na mheshimiwa Theuri aka Swagmaster immediate former MP of Embakazi East mheshimiwa Isaac Mwaura senator Isaac Mwaura mheshimiwa former MP wa Tetu ndio huyo mheshimiwa 
Sosion ako hapo Mheshimiwa Rehema ako hapo Mheshimiwa Teresia Wanjiro nominated Engineer Oh Senator Senator Engineer Karue but senators will be introduced shortly by Mheshimiwa Senator Aaron Cheruyot nafikiri kufikia hapo Mheshimiwa Oh <laughs> wengi walikaa nyuma tuko na Mheshimiwa Koimbori from Juja Mheshimiwa wa Mashukuru Mheshimiwa Kingara Mheshimiwa Mashua Kiambu Mheshimiwa Kitayama Marwa from Kuria Nafikiri hakuna mtu nimeacha Is that KK Mheshimiwa KK former MP Kinangop na tuko na Mheshimiwa Kiaraho Mheshimiwa wa All Kalao Nasikia wengine Mheshimiwa Naib uh, Rais Unisamehe tulikuwa tumezoea naibu wa rais lakini sababu tunaye naibu wa rais na rais leo kuna wengine wananiambia hapa ni mjulishe Moses Kuria yeye sio mbunge yeye sasa ni waziri mteule na atajulishwa wakati mawaziri watafika kuteuliwa your excellency allow me on behalf of all those members of parliament national assembly sitting and immediate former members of parliament to convey our very sincere condolences to Mama Cecilia, her immediate family, and the entire extended family of our brother and Deputy President, the Honorable Rigathi Gashagua. To ambie pole na to waombe vile moda retaretu amesema ya kuwa mungu ataendelea kuwapa nguvu na kuendelea na maisha mama na watoto wako wakati mzea metuondokea. We join you in prayer. We will continue to pray for you even as we live. And Your Excellency, as the area member of parliament has said, I know for a fact that my brother, Honorable Rigathi Gashagu, our deputy president, did approach me when I was also chairman budget for the Sagana Water Restoration Project. And it is indeed true. We lost that money from our budget. Now, watu wa madera wakaachwa bila maji. Na sababu ni mashemeji wangu mweshimua rais Ningeungana na mweshimua wa mombi Kuuliza ya kuwa ikiwezekana Ile pesa ilitolewa kwa budget Iwe ni barabara, iwe ni wa maji Sababu mweshimua deputy president wetu Onaburigadhi Gashagua alikuwa rafiki yako tafadhali Because as our moderator has said Moderator even us in the political class we only separated for a moment so that we are able to operate and restore the hope of millions of our people. And I want to assure your moderator, having separated, we are now together operating on the economy of our country under the able leadership of our president and our deputy president. And I want to assure you and the people of Madeira and the people of Kenya that indeed we shall endeavor to ensure that all the stalled projects, be it in the Mount Kenya region, in Madera, in Nyeri County, in the entire country that has stalled, I am certain, under your able leadership, Your Excellency the President, we will be able to kickstart all these projects and move our country to the next level of, of prosperity. Kwa yo mengi, mweshimua rais, na moda retawetu, ni taomba ravi, mweshimua rais, sababu tunao kikao cha bunge, Masa ya sanane na nusu na tutaomba tuondoke uh, bila kukaa sana wakati nikimualika kiongozi wa wengi katika nyumba la senate Mweshimiwa Aaron Cheruyot wa majority leader ili awajulishe senate as walioko Dada gothi ya dwa Nairobi President witu ena wera, deputy ya wera, nieno ni taledirona wera wa majority leader Neguwa dada na gothi yego tetera kore ya buge Kwa guo mudhi na abere na gotu hoera Na de na ma Tuanyi tana na de de nyoro Na ajabaishi geshi othe Dhirikali ya moheshmiwa William Ruto Na rigadhiwa aga shagua Ne konyita Venga ne egashire Ne shokie riri Wa matora maito Oreororete Kwa hayo mengi Asante na mungu awabariki Moheshmiwa Aaron Uh, Your Excellency, the President, uh, First Lady uh, Mama Rachel Ruto, 
Your Excellency, the Deputy President, the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, together with your spouse, uh, Pastor Dokas, the Gashagwa family, uh, leaders who have joined us here today, together with all uh, distinguished mourners, Naomba ni wasalimu wote bwana Yesu asifiwe. Um, tuko na viongozi wengi, Your Excellency, from the Senate, that have come to pass also a word of condolence from the various counties to the family of our Deputy President. So before I speak and uh, share maybe a small word on their own behalf, I'd wish first to recognize them uh, so that I can introduce them, then we can uh, conclude on our part as a Senate. So all Senators uh, together, of course, they'll be led by our Senator Fonyeri, where we are. Wahome ninaweza kuibia dakika moja kwa ile yangu. So wewe kuja usimame hapa. Then the rest of the Senators, wale ambao wamekuja hapa siku ya leo, just be upstanding, then I will uh, introduce you from where you're seated. Uh, we have uh, Senator Fokiambu, Senator Karungo Dhangwa, lift up your hand. Uh, we appreciate him. Then uh, we have from Wasingishu, Senator Jackson Mandago, uh, wave to the crowd. Former governor, but now senator. We have uh, there are quite a number of people standing, and I'm not sure they are senators. Yeah, please resume your seat first. Then we have uh, Senator Kipchumba Murkomen, uh, Senator Folgeo Marakwet, uh, still in the Senate, but on transit uh, elsewhere. I'm not sure if it's a better place, but uh, according to him, uh, he's happy to head there. So, Your Excellency, I'll request that uh, we allow just for one second uh, Senator Wahome wa Matinga, Senator Wetu Wanyeri, Aseme Jambo, Alafu Nitamalizia, Kwaniaba ya Senator Wetu. Karibu, Senator. Uh, thank you very much, Majority Leader, Your Excellency, the President William Samoe Ruto, First Lady Leisha Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President Ligadi Gashagua, and Second Lady Dr. El Pastor Dolkas Ligadi Mabibi Namabwana. The House of Kraji, all protocols of sub. Yangu ni machache sana kuleta la bilambi kwa jamii ya gashagua. Jack na mjua kutoka miaka mingi na tumekuja hapa kufariji nanyi. Your Excellency, sir, my also also to congratulate you on this important day kuja kusimama na sisi watu wa nyeri, watu wa madhera. You've always worked with us and we promise we'll stand with you. Kuna mengi, leo tutaongea machache na tunapoendelea Your Excellency sa asantini sana kwa kushukua kiongozi kutoka hapa kwetu Rigadhi Gashagua asante sana Your Excellency sa uh, thank you so uh, Your Excellency the Deputy President on behalf of the Senate of the Republic of Kenya I want to pass my sincere most condolences and on behalf of all the senators as well uh, to you and to your family for the loss of your dear brother Together with the rest of the family, we give you our condolences, we give you our prayers. May God grant you strength during this time of extreme difficulty. You know, Your Excellency, the Bible in Psalms 35 reminds us that uh, though weeping may endure throughout the night, joy comes in the morning. I want to assure you that uh, perhaps maybe you may be feeling a little bit down, that for the last few visits that you've come to this particular village of yours, as your colleagues, it has been during such moments of difficulty. But when we trust and believe in our God, I am sure very soon we shall come back to this village to a celebration and celebrate something amazing that God will have done in your life and to your family. So, Paul Esana, secondly, just uh, in quick succession, I want to give our assurance to you and to the President that us, the parliamentarians, we from Kenya Kwanzaa and Parliament uh, generally, as, a, as an institution. We are ready to work. The reason why we are rushing out of this uh, function immediately is that today is our first official sitting where we begin to transact business. I want to give you assurance that all the promises that you made to the people of Kenya during the campaign time, we as members of parliament, we are ready to begin work and ensure that we pass laws that shall transform the lives of our people. We shall ensure that the laws that we passed are just and not for the benefit of single individuals, but for the benefit of the welfare of all the people of Kenya. That business where back in the day 
laws were brought to parliament quickly hurried for the benefit of a select few that is history right now under your guidance you've told us that you want to build a government that is of the ordinary people as a majority leader in the senate i assure you that every law that shall be passed on the floor of that house the number one thing that we shall be checking out is how is it beneficial to the ordinary people of Kenya. That will be our first consideration, uh, Your Excellency. In concluding, uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, kuna jambo tumoja ambaye ngependa niseme. Unajua Biblia, in Psalms 23, na tuambia, God prepares a table for us in the presence of our enemies. Hasa mimi naona maneno kidogo kidogo kwa magazeti kukuhusu Mimi naona awa ni wale wajaamini kwamba God has already set you in the table of kings. Wamezoea ati wewe ni mtu tu hivi hivi. Sasa wakikuona when you're seated with kings wanaanza kukukosoa na mambo kidogo kidogo. But we want to assure you that as your friends and fellow supporter leaders be calm. You have always uh, proved your critics wrong. You know you remember when you were mentioned and named by Kenya Kwanza as the running mate of his excellency the deputy president wengi walisema eh huyu kweli atawezana in fact i remember just before the debate walikuwa wanaandika mambo mengi lakini wakati ulienda debate si ulirarua mtu mpaka akapotea kweli kweli sasa hao wenye wanaongea kwa magazeti ya tirigadhi anachoma nafanya nini kama kusema ukweli yako ile unasema kuhusu vile Kenya iko ndio itafanya wa Kenya wapone wewe choma kabisa hiyo ndio sisi tunakuambia so keep calm rigiji we are proud of you Nani ambie tu your boss kwamba and I told you this the other day many people are confusing that G in Rigiji to think that it means uh, governor uh, Kahiga to come and pass his message and perhaps recognize the governors that are here karibu governor thank you Kongoi uh, Cheruyot thank you very much senator Cheruyot our Unajua sijazoea hii mambo ya kukuita the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya Daktari William Samoe Ruto and when i say that i give glory to god our first lady uh, Rachel Ruto my brother our son the son of Mau Mau and now the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya honorable Rigathi Gachagua and your spouse, the second lady, uh, Pastor Dorcas Gachagua, all protocols observed, ladies and gentlemen, hamjambo. Uh, kabla ni seme maneno, nataka ni watambue wale magava na wako mahali. Hapa na manda kwa sisimame. Najua naeza simama, akifikiria bado ni governor. I want to see the governors of here. I thought I have, uh, yes. Just come in front kindly so that I can see all of you. My, kuna, kule nyuma sioni vizuri. Please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. Thank you very much. Yeah? I know, I know. I know we also have deputy governors. Deputy governors. Please come and on this side. We want to finish this thing very, very quickly. Kindly. Oh yes, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you very much. So I want to, on behalf of the Council of Governors and on behalf of the Chair, uh, introduce the, we have His Excellency John Muchiri from uh, Nairobi, the Deputy Governor of uh, Sakaja. We have also... Moshushu, the Deputy Governor of Kajiado, and currently he is the Chair of the DG's Forum. This is uh, David, uh, the Deputy Governor of uh, Honorable Waiguru from Kirinyaga. <laughs> Governor Karu Kangata wa Barua. Zumunamjua, <laughs> Kutoka Muranga. Tuko Nanduguyangu, the Governor of Laikipia. Joshua Irongo, Yuko Hapo, our sister and a, a powerful lady, Cecil Mbarire from Embu, Her Excellency. Then we have Ken Lusaka, 
at the end there is not Ken Lusaka, who is our governor in Bungoma, and then we have uh, Dr. Kiari Badilisha, the governor of Nyandarwa. I deliberately left Governor Sang because he is our whip, and I don't want to be whipped. Governor Sang from Nandi. And as you stand there, allow me to read this condolence message from Her Excellency Governor Igoro on behalf of the Council, the, uh, the President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, H. Regadi Gashagua, the family of the late Jack Reliani, please accept our deepest condolences. Excellency Governors present, Senators present, members of the National Assembly present, members of the County Assembly present, the clergy all protocols observed, ladies and gentlemen. The Council of Governors joins the family of our Deputy President, H.E. Regadi Gashagua, in mourning his eldest brother, Jack Reliani, a patriarch and a true loyalist at heart. It is extremely disconcerting knowing that today we lay to rest the leader, a man who took up the mantle of raising his siblings to ensure that they attained their greatest potential. We who are here can attest that through his stewardship, this family has produced a governor and now a deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is said that still waters run deep. The late Rediani was a gentle yet very generous soul a caring, responsible, and dedicated family man who always offered wise counsel when called upon. This brilliant man and a gallant son of Nyeri County was passionate about the economic transformation of this community and the country at large. This can be showcased in the many projects he spearheaded, especially in the agricultural sector. Ladies and gentlemen, while losing a family member may be inevitable, nothing ever prepares us for their profound absence and it takes time for the heart to fathom such great loss. A father is a pillar of strength, wisdom, and support and joy. He is a mentor and a template for his children to forge who they become. The late Jack was a father to many. He set a good example not only for his children, but also this community at large. I truly hope that those he mentored will carry on his legacy. A famous writer wrote and said, I would define a leader as a person who puts the welfare of the group above himself. It is the same thing with fathers. Even though he has left a gap that is hard to fill, we must strive to uphold the values he advocated for, especially that of self selflessness and humility. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I know that Jack will be dearly missed as an exemplary leader who had great vision of development and progress. He is now going to take his rightful place in the long line of extraordinary leaders in, uh, in, this, in his family and this community. On behalf of the Council of Governors and all the 47 county governments, I convey my heartfelt condolences to the family, friends, and relatives of the late Jack Reliani and to all the Kenyans who share in this pain and grief. Allow me to finish my remarks by quoting the words from the Bible. In Psalms 34, 18, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. To the family of our Deputy President and all loved ones, may the Almighty God comfort you and may the soul of Jack Reliani rest in peace. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So just, I may say one word and say, I want to welcome on behalf of the County of Nyeri, all, all of you who have come from outside this county and beyond everything else, I want to thank the clergy for coming to stand with us today and even over the 10 days. All we want to say is you, to the, His Excellency the President and to the Deputy President, Nyeri is a county in peace. Nyinyi fanyani kazi, fufua uchumi, pambana na hii, na hii, na hii, yale zile shida ziko. Nyeri, we are okay with you. We will be holding fort na musiwe na wasiwasi, Your Excellency the President. Uyu tulikupatia, tukakuambia enda nae, and we shall do our level best. The only thing we want to say is this, and I want to say it standing here. Our Akina Wanjohi na our Watu Tunawana Wanazunguka musi to Haribia Rais, Vila Uhuru Ali Haribika. Ataki Kuchukua Simuzetu, Ataki Kuongea Nazisi, Muachana and Rais Niwetu. Tunasema Ivo. Allow us access to our president the way we used to have and we have always had. Let me finish by saying this that we will continue to support His Excellency the President unconditionally.
tuwaachilie wetu tuwe na rais wetu tuwe vile tulikuwa tumezoea with that ladies and gentlemen na waomba nyote munisaidie kumkaribisha aliyekuwa zamani naibu wa rais ambaye sasa tunamuita earthquake yule mwingine si, yule si mwingine bali ni mheshimiwa Wycliffe Musalia Mudavadi Your Excellency the President Dr. William Samoy Ruto the First Lady Madam Rachel Ruto the Deputy President Rigabe Gajagwa Madam Dorcas Gashagwa, Your Excellency, the entire Gashagwa family, and the clergy members of the congregation. Mine will be very brief because uh, a lot has been said. But let me just say that uh, when Kimani Chungwa was uh, introducing some of the leaders here, he focused a lot on those who may still be within parliament. Uh, but let me take this opportunity to acknowledge a few others who have been nominated by His Excellency the President to serve all the way from uh, Homer Bay. That is testimony to the President's commitment to serve all parts of the country. Who is there? Uh, Madam Bore, Florence. Thank you. I think that is, she's going to take care of our labor matters and others. Thank you so much. We have Honorable uh, Governor Salim Vuria uh, from Kwale. Uh, he'll uh, be taking care of our natural resources in many ways. Thank you so much. Uh, ah, I have there. Uh, speaker stroke attorney general uh, Justin Muturi thank you so much Muturi uh, the iron lady this side Madam Alice Wahome thank you she'll help in dealing with the water crisis that was mentioned uh, a man who is very good in matters of trade Mweshimeo Moses Kuria now, there's somebody standing there. I need help there. Penina Malonza from Kitui. Thank you, Penina. Ah, and right here we have uh, Linturi. Mweshimiwa Linturi. Thank you so much. Uh, Your Excellency, let me just take this opportunity to immediately convey on behalf of my colleagues here uh, heartfelt condolences to the entire family of uh, the Deputy President and Jackton who has left us. We can only say that God gives, God takes. May you be consoled completely, thoroughly, and over time by none other than God himself. Finally, I just want to say that uh, I was very happy to listen to the sermon of the moderator, Reverend Jesse Kamau, I want to admit to one thing, Reverend, that your wit in delivery still remains. It has not waned over time. You have done a very good job. We have listened to you, and uh, we shall take your wise counsel as we move forward. Finally, let me just say that we are all here, happy, at the same time, bidding farewell to our brother, happy because God has his own way of consoling. In the middle of the election, we were here to console with Gashagwa and family after they had lost a brother. Little did we know that we'd be talking here again although in a sad moment, but with him as our deputy president in the Republic of Kenya. So God has his own ways 
of taking and also of mending tunamshukuru sana and uh, bwana deputy president we shall stand with you as is necessary and as we move forward kwa hivyo tuko na wewe kabisa your excellency the president this is a terrain you know so well these are your people they have done us proud they voted to the man inaitwa nini tra traku 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 sinamna hiyo walitoka traku traku so they have shown us what to do next time hata sisi tutasimama imara so that we can quickly rebuild our country which has got a lot of challenges but uh, under your stewardship we shall be able to overcome these challenges so nasikomea pale kwa sababu ni mazishi uh, tusiongee sana na tuseme kwamba Mungu alinde taifa letu your excellency the deputy president kindly step forward so that you can speak to this congregation and then invite the president thank you thank you very much um, your excellency the president of the republic of kenya dr william ruto your excellency the first lady mama richo our past moderator the most revered dr jc kamau the house of clergy the family of my late brother mama kevin steven and all the rest of our people and all the people who have come here god is good and all the time nisalimieni kwa hewa bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yetu asifiwe tena adwa itu muri okuo ni mukire kumagaria muru wa maitu ngai amuradime ah your excellency the president the man lying here with us Jack Riviani was the eldest among the sons of the late Mother Krigo and Mzee Nahashan Gashagwa. He's a man that we all hold in the highest esteem as a family. Our parents, the late Mzee Nahashan Gashagwa Riviani and his wife, Mother, popularly known as Marida, were peasant farmers and ex freedom fighters and when they came from the forest unlike today they did not know about insurance what they did about education they came up with an insurance scheme to make sure that their children go to school and that insurance scheme by my parents and no other people of that time was a master stroke what those parents would do is get as many children educate a few and the few to educate the rest <laughs> so my parents we were nine of us and they tried so hard they educated jack ririani and governor the rito kashagua and told them to educate the rest of us myself my sister lillian who is in london my sister Mudoni, who is here, we were handed over to Jack by my parents. This man paid my school fees from Form 1 to Form 6. And uh, I'm so grateful to God because God gave me an opportunity to, say, to tell him, thank you for educating me. When they came for inauguration, Your Excellency, they stayed with me in Nairobi for three days, and I had an opportunity to thank him profoundly for having seen me through school on behalf of my parents who are lacking. And I feel that the opportunity I had to tell him thank you when he was alive is God who created for me that opportunity. I want to ask all of us, where we can, those who are able, take care of your siblings. 
see them through school, assist them in life. So as we escort my late brother, I have a debt of gratitude to him. And as a way of giving back, I'll make sure that his wife who has been left behind, his children, Stephen and your kids, whatever God can help me to see you through, I will do it as a way of appreciation to my late brother who sold me through education. My late brother was also the head of our family, the Kerigo family. We were four, now I'm left, and I'll do what I can in terms of providing leadership to our sisters and our children who have been left behind. And I ask our family to stay united. And we have accepted what has happened. We have taken a bit of hitting for the last 10 years or so as a family. But we are asking God no questions. Because all the difficult things have happened, God has equally given us so many other blessings. And therefore, we are not in a position to complain or ask any question. We have accepted the will of God. And all we have to do as a family is to stay united and like our parents taught us, education, education, education. Let us educate our children. In a family of nine, we were, nine, we were seven graduates. From parents who are persons, they just knew that education is important. Alafu wakapanga hiyo insurance, unasomesha wawili, alafu wanasukuma wale wengine. I think it's a good concept. I think some of us were not very wise. When Wazungus came, they told us to get only two children. And we accepted. Looking back, in my case, I think it was foolish. Because when I sit in my house, it's a big house, my children are gone. I'm just here with Pastor Dokas. If you leave a glass here, you come back after two months, you just find it there. <laughs> is, that, is that a home really? You are a bomber. So these are things that uh, we did in those days of the 70s. So family planning, nini, nini, nini. Tukasikisa hiyo maneno, tukafuata bila kufikiria. So we find ourselves in a situation that is not very nice. You know, um, Your Excellency, on behalf of my family, let me thank you with Mama Rachel. I really want to thank you. You have been there for us. Any time we have been in tears in this family, you always turn up with a handkerchief to wipe our tears. We have no words to say thank you. And the truth be said, from our relationship, you have become one of our family. You have become one of our family. We celebrate you, we cherish you, and we don't take that friendship for granted. The last time you came for my mother, you remember me telling you. And I told you, in front of everybody, that this family of Kashagwa, we are honest people, we are people of integrity, and we value friendship. And I told you, if other Kenyans will betray you, that betrayal will not come from this family. We don't know betrayal. We are people who are true to friends. And that is why I, with my family, made a conscious decision to stand with you in very difficult circumstances. Again, it's all odds. Again, it's all pressure. Again, it's insurmountable challenges because we are an honorable family. And I have told our children, I had a meeting with them last night, and I told them because they are young people, integrity and being faithful to friends is an important ingredient in life. And I've guided these young people. I had a long meeting with them last night, and I told them, as long as they carry the Gachagua family name, they must remain true to friends, they must be honest people, and they must always stand with what they believe in. Your Excellency, in a family meeting last night, when we were discussing you and the role you have played in this family of holding us, holding our hand, 
always be there with us. I was given very clear and sufficient instructions by the family that I must serve you with loyalty and dedication. I was told by my family to give back to your support for this family, for your true friendship. In the duties you have given me to assist you in the management of the affairs of this great nation, they told me to work very hard to make sure I ease your work and I assist you to succeed. My family is the opinion, and rightly so, that electing President William Ruto is not enough. President William Ruto must succeed and turn around this country. So I want to confirm to you, sir, that whatever duties you give me, I'll implement them with military precision. I'll be there, and I'll do whatever you tell me to do, so that this country that is pregnant with expectation. The people of this country, Your Excellency, have such high hope in your leadership. They have so much expectation. And I know that you must work very hard. And for you to succeed, those of us you have given a responsibility to help you, we must work equally hard. So I want to confirm before my family that I will not let you down. I will do whatever it takes and will be there for you to give you the necessary support so that you are in a position to turn around the economy of this country and restore the dignity of our people. And for that, I ask my family and my people of Herrera to continue praying for me to succeed in helping this great man. Finally. <laughs> Nichukue na fasi hii kupongeza nyinyi. Kwa sababu mumetafutia jamii yetu heshima katika siasa ya Kenya. Hapo awali tulikuwa tunawekelewa fitina ya kwamba sisi ni watu ambaye tunajipenda, sisi ni watu ambao ni wakutumia wengine, sisi ni watu ambaye hatuwezi pigia mtu wengine kura ambaye hatoki hapa. Lakini nyinyi watu wa mlima Nyinyi ni watu ya maajabu. Nyinyi ni watu ya maajabu. I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you don't know what you have done to our community. You have gotten us respect in Kenya for the next 200 years. That the people of the mountain are honest people. They are people of integrity. They are true to their word. And they are people who appreciate a good deed. Your Excellency, the people of this region did not vote for you because you supported President Uhuru Kenyatta. They did not vote for you because of the 10-10 fraud. No. They voted for you. They made a conscious decision that you have a plan. You have a program to turn around their lives and put money in their pockets. That is why they voted for you. You are say you have pronounced yourself very clearly that the way to go is to increase production in agriculture. Is to increase production in agriculture. And the people of this area are farmers. And they are coffee farmers, they are tea farmers, they are dairy farmers. And the program that you have is what Mwe Deire. Neanyu. Neko Rutavera, Nemoko Mega Mahoya Ine, Nemoko Menitra Mahoya, Nemoko Meroga Medera, Erutavera Kenya, Esaja Maishamaitu, Muena Manewe Kogo, Gavi to Amuradime, Na Mwekewega, Na Dwaito Murega, Na Muria Wata, Na Muria Goro, Neguo, Gavi to Amuradime, Na Mwekewega. Reverend Jesse Kamau, I want to thank you. When I said an invitation, you come and bury my brother and you accepted, I was humbled. I'm always amazed by your clarity of thought. You have given us a very moving sermon like you have always done. We are truly grateful. And 
you always dignify our PCA church. Let me thank the parish of Gorano and the Reverend Minor and Kegajo Presbytery. You are always supporting this family. We want to thank you. Mary Catholic Choir, I want to thank you. Gogoro, Gogoro PCA, you are the best. Victor's Chapel Praise and Worship, Pongezi. Karatina Praise and Worship, you are always there for us. And Herega Secondary, thank you for coming. I know I promised you a gate, a good one. Manezea Wamumbi will put up that gate for you. I've already told him. And when the president comes around to the Sagana State Lodge, I'll request him to come and take tea with you. <laughs> with those very many remarks, it is now my honor and privilege to welcome the president of the Republic of Kenya, the one and only <laughs> Dr. William Samoe Ruto. Thank you very much. Mama Kevin and Guietu Stephen, Maskofu Wote Pamoja na Biongozi Wetu Adini, Nduguyangu Rigadi Gashagwa na Familia Ya. Reriani Gashaga kwa ujumla watu wa kijiji hii hapa nyumbani viongozi wote na wananchi wa Madhira na Nyeri hamjambo hamjambo tena haya kitu tu chini nitakuona baadaye Aya, aya. Asante. Asante. Aya, asante sana. Aya, aya. Tutakuona, tutakuona. Asante sana. <coughs> sawa, sawa. Hiyo ni sawa. Aya. Aya, mama Recho yuko hapo hata kuona. Sawa, ndio huyo hapo. <coughs> Asante. Um, Asante sana, Asante sana. Thank you. Sande sana. Sorry, sorry. Um, asante sana. Huyo mama tutamshughulikia asikuwe na wasiwasi. Asanteni sana. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka kwanza nichukue nafasi hii kwa niaba ya familia yangu na nimeandamana na mke wangu mama Recho yuko hapa na nikisema nimeandamana inakaa kama ni maandamano okay. sio <laughs> si, maandamano nimekuja na yeye ili tuweze kulete Rambi rambi zetu za pole kwa mama Cecilia na watoto wake na kwa familia nzima ya Reriani Gashagwa kwa huyu ndugu yetu Jackson Reriani ambaye ametuacha poleni sana kwa kumpoteza huyu ndugu yetu Tunajua ya kwamba yeye amekuwa ni mtu wa muhimu sana katika familia yenu. 
vile tumeambiwa alishughulika na mambo ya familia hii alishughulika na mambo ya masomo ya familia hii mumesikia naibu wetu wa rais akisema alimsaidia kwa masomo ama kumlipia karo ya shule alifanya mchango wake kama mkenya tumesikia mahali alifanya kazi tumesikia hata mara ya mwisho alikuwa anafanya kazi hapa ya kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ya irrigation katika mambo yetu ya kilimo kwa hivyo huyu ni mkenya ambaye ametoa mchango wake katika familia na katika taifa lake ndio tumekuja hapa kwa kumuenzi na kumshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia huyu ndugu yetu ambaye leo amesafiri poleni sana mama Cecilia pole my young man Stephen and your family poleni sana ndugu zetu wa Reliane Gashagwa na pia poleni watu wa familia hii na watu wa kijiji yetu hapa na watu wa Madhira na watu wa Nyeri kwa niaba ya serikali ya Kenya na wale wote wanaofanya kazi pamoja na sisi tunataka tuwaambie poleni sana vile vile nimefika hapa mbali na kuleta rambi rambi za Jackson pia niwashukuru watu wa Madhira na watu wa Nyeri Tulikuwa hapa mwezi moja iliyopita tuka kuja kwenu tukaomba kura zenu tukaomba mtusaidie tukaomba mtuombe mimi nataka kwa niaba ya wale wote tuliopata nafasi ya kuchaguliwa niwaambie asante sana narudia tena kusema asante sana asante kwa kutuamini asante kwa kujitokeza na kutupigia kura asante sana kwa kufanya hiyo majukumu yote kwa njia ya amani ninyi kama watu wa mlima mumetuongoza kama watu wa Kenya kubadilisha siasa ya taifa letu sisi wote kama wa Kenya leo tunaheshimika sana kitaifa na kimataifa kwa sababu ya vile tumepanga mambo yetu ya siasa kwa njia ambayo imetuweka pamoja na kwa njia ya amani mimi nachukua nafasi hii kuwashukuru sana watu wa Nyeri, watu wa Mlima Kenya na wa Kenya wote kwa kuweka taifa letu mahali pa heshima kwamba tumebadilisha siasa ya Kenya kutoka ile siasa ya zamani ya ukabila na mambo mengine leo tunapanga siasa kwa mpango, kwa sera na kwa amani. Na mimi nimebahatika nikachaguliwa rais pale ikiwa Kenya ni nchi ya heshima. Na mimi nataka niwahakikishie hiyo heshima mumeweka kwa taifa letu la Kenya. Nitahakikisha kwamba inadumishwa na hakuna mtu ataishusha ikuje chini We have set a new standard for ourselves as a nation that we have changed our politics from the politics rallied around ethnicity to the politics about issues and about a plan and today Kenya has earned a place of respect in the community of nations as a country 
that can prosecute its affairs on issues and have peaceful elections where we vote and the next day we can go back to work. And I want to say that I will make sure that that place of respect where Kenya collectively, all of us, whichever way we voted, we have set for ourselves a place of respect. That place, I will make sure it doesn't come down, that Kenya continues to occupy a place of respect in the community of nations. Vile vile, mimi nataka niwambie asanteni sana kwa kunipatia kanda ya wera. Hakuna vile mimi nitakosa kufaulu. Mimi nikiwa na mtu ya kazi na niko tajiri ya wafanyikazi. Niko na watu wengi ambao mmenipatia ambao watashirika na, watashirikiana na mimi kutekeleza yale makubaliano tulikubaliana na nyinyi vile ya kubadilisha taifa letu la Kenya. Na washukuru sana kwa kunipatia viongozi wengi ambao tutashirikiana na wao ili kutekeleza majukumu ya kupeleka taifa letu mbele. Vile vile mimi nataka niwaulize viongozi wote wenzangu. Wakati tulienda katika uchaguzi tulikuwa na mkataba na hawa wananchi. Na tulikubaliana tunataka win win. Wakati tumeenda uchaguzi wananchi wa Kenya wametekeleza wajibu wao. Sisi tumepata MCA amepata Karanja na wenzake wabunge wamepata eh huyu wa moyo na wenzake wa mombe na wenzake senators wamepata huyu wa matinga na wenzake governors wamepata huyu kahiga na wenzake mimi rigadhi E, musalia tumepata sasa swali wananchi wamepata nini sasa hapo ndio swali so na wauliza ndugu zangu tuwe wangwana vile vile pile wananchi wamekuwa wangwana wametupatia nafasi ya uongozi wametupigia kura na sisi tutimize wajibu wetu. Hawa wananchi wanangojea sasa tutimize upande wetu. Na mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba tuko na executive, tuko na legislature na tuko na mahakama zetu. Mimi naomba sisi wote tushirikiane ili tuweze kutekeleza yale atakayofaa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya as the executive i want to commit we will do our bit i want to ask the legislature to do their bit and our judiciary to do their bit so that we can transform our country together and serve the interests of the 50 million kenyans and especially those who voted for us so nawauliza kwa sababu yale mambo yote tulisema tayari tumeanza kujipanga hawa mawaziri wakifika ofisini they know what to do kuna sheria tutapeleka bungeni sheria ya mambo ya housing kututafutia housing fund sheria ya mambo ya um, kututafutia mambo ya savings tutapeleka sheria mambo ya universal health coverage tutapeleka budget hivi karibuni in fact in the next one or one and a half months
tutapeleka budget bungeni kwa sababu lazima tuambiane ukweli ile budget tuko nayo sasa inatufanya tukope karibu shilingi bilioni tisa na hiyo kukopa lazima tuanze kuipunguza kwa sababu tunaweka madeni makubwa kwa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na hasa kwa wale ambao watatufuata baadaye lazima tuanze safari ya kupunguza madeni kwa wakenya saa hizi deni la Kenya nimefika karibu trilioni kumi. Na ndiyo mimi ninamesema juzi budget hii tulio nayo nataka kwanza tupunguze bilioni tatu. Tuondoe zile vitu ambazo zinaweza kungoja. Ili tupange kwanza tukamilisha mabarabara ambazo zimeanzishwa, tukamilisha mambo ya maji ambayo imeanzishwa, tukamilishe zile vitu ambazo zitatusaidia na pia tuweke pesa katika mambo ya kilimo ili tuweze kuzalisha chakula tupunguze hii karama ya maisha ambayo imepanda katika taifa letu la Kenya so mimi na waomba ya kwamba kuna kazi kuna kibarua tuko naye hapa mbele lakini mimi nataka niwahakikishie hiyo kibarua tunatoshana naye eh hiyo kibarua tunatoshana naye tutafanya hiyo kazi ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba pale mwisho watoto wetu hawataridhi deni kutoka kwetu pale mwisho tufanye ile biblia inasema kwa medhali the bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children children it doesn't say a good man leaves a debt for his children <laughs> kwa hivyo mimi nataka tushirikiane kuna sheria tutaleta tutapeleka bunge mimi nawaomba wabunge wetu kutoka pande zote tuko na jukumu ya kupeleka taifa letu mbele na waomba pia wale katika wale walio katika eh, judiciary watusaidie ili tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba ile mipango yote ambayo inasaidia kupeleka taifa letu mbele lisiwekwe vikwazo na watu ambao wako na nia mbaya tunataka we want to grow our country together the executive has a role to play the legislature has a role to play the judiciary has a role to play we must harmonize so that we can deliver prosperity to every kenyan and make sure that our country moves to the next level maneno ya uchaguzi tumemaliza mashindano tumekamilisha sasa ni nafasi ya sisi wote kuungana ili tuweze wale wanaoendesha serikali waendeshe kwa manufaa ya wakenya wale walio katika upinzani wapange kwa manufaa ya wananchi wa Kenya kule mahakamani tupange kwa manufaa ya wananchi wa Kenya kwa sababu we are all serving the great people of the Republic of Kenya so mimi nataka niwahakikishie safari tumeanza vile mmesikia wa Mumbi hapa akisema eh, wakati tumefika ofisini tulikuta KDDA wameuliza mbolea na ilikuwa wauzie wakulima na shilingi karibu elfu sita tumesema ipunguzwe tumeweka pesa ya serikali mpaka shilingi elfu tatu na mia tano kwa sasa lakini bado tunaifanyia kazi tunataka ikuje mpaka shilingi elfu mbili na mia tano hapo ndio wakulima wetu wote wa Kenya wakulima wetu wote wa Kenya wapate mbolea kwa bei nafuu ndio tuweze kuzalisha chakula ya kutosha tumeanza mpango ya mbolea ya msimu ambao unafuata and we are going to make sure that we support our farmers 
so that they can produce enough food for our country and we can eliminate the shame of hunger in the Republic of Kenya. So tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi um, viongozi wote MCAs wako na majukumu yao wabunge wako na majukumu yao na kila sehemu wako na majukumu yao na sote tutafanya kazi kwa pamoja ile kitu mimi nataka niwahakikishie ni kwamba hiyo kazi tutafanya na bidii tutafanya na kujitolea kwa sababu tunataka kubadilisha taifa letu la Kenya na vile 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 askofu wetu Jesse amesema katika harakati hii na rais wetu Uhuru Kenyatta tukashindana na former prime minister Raila Odinga na wengine wengi hawa sasa tumemaliza mashindano tunawapa heshima ambayo inawatosha kama viongozi ambao wametutangulia and we are going to respect everybody because we want Kenya to be a place where every citizen feels they belong wale ambao watawachwa nyuma wakue kwa upinzani wataendelea kutukosoa na sisi hatuna shida tunataka wasaiishe mahali wanaona iko kombo ndio tuweze kwenda mbele pamoja sisi we are not uh, we are not averse to criticism and we are not averse to correction and we want a good idea to give way for a better idea so we are going to work together na tutashirikiana kwa sababu we want the best for our country kwa hivyo mimi nataka niwashukuru sana nirudie tena tuko na shukurani nyingi kwa sababu ya vile mulitushikilia mkatuombea mkatupatia kura zenu mimi nawahakikishia we will not let you down tutafanya bidii nataka pia eh, kanisa lijue na dini kwa ujumla wajue ya kwamba tutafanya kazi na wao tukiwatambua kama ni watu ambao wanatuombea ndio tuweze kuwa katika tuweze kuwa katika mpango na mapenzi ya Mungu that is our commitment so uh, nimeshukuru sana nimewashukuru sana uh, mambo ya barabara huyu kijana atakuja nitaongea na yeye mambo yenu ya maji mambo yenu ya kilimo na mimi nataka niwaulize magovernors saa hizi tunapanga mambo ya mbolea tukilete mbolea mpaka nyeri hapa sasa nyinyi magovernors mchukue kutoka hapo mupeleke mashinani mtafute kila ward huko mupeleke hiyo msongeshe hiyo mbolea na pia tunataka kuwapanga wakulima kwa cooperative kwa sako na any other organization tutakuwa na waziri ambaye atahusika na mambo ya cooperative na mambo ya SMEs na tutakuwa na waziri ambaye atahusika na mambo ya trade na mambo ya investment na mambo ya industry hiyo yote tutaunganisha kwa sababu tunataka mambo ya value addition agro processing na industrialization ndio wakulima wengi wapate dhamana kwa yale mazao wanaweka leo asubuhi nimefanya mkutano ya mambo ya value addition ya mambo ya kahawa na chai kwa sababu that is the route we want to go sisi ndio tunauza chai nyingi dunia mzima na wakulima wetu lazima wapate mapato ya sawa sawa so we are already discussing na waziri wetu wa kilimo yuko hapa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu bwana Medika Lenturi hawa wakulima wanataka pesa iongezwe kwa mapato yao hiyo dola mbili wanapata saa hizi 2 point something ikifika hapo 5 6 ndio wataanza kuzoea sasa mambo imekuwa sawa sawa so we are going to work together and uh, i want to assure you that um, 
Mungu atatusaidia so that we can change our country. So asanteni sana kwa kutupokea hapa nyumbani. Tunawapenda sana. Tunawatakia heri na baraka ya Mungu na kwa pamoja tutafaulu kama wa Kenya. Nataka niwaambie viongozi wetu wa dini Biblia inatufundisha ya kwamba msichoke kutenda mema. Please continue to pray for our country. Muendelee kutuombea ndio tuweze eh, kufaulu kama taifa. So asanteni sana na nawatakia baraka ya Mungu. Thank you very much. Asante niombe tuketi kwa heshima. Niombe sana kwa heshima tukiondoka hapa baada ya maombi ya mwisho. Na kwa niaba ya familia niombe pahali tunaenda kumlaza dugu yetu pana upunguvu wa nafasi. Na kwa heshima vile familia wamefanya wametuwekea TV hapa ndani hata tukiwa hapa tutakuwa tunafuatilia yale yanaendelea pale kwenye kaburi. Kwa hivyo niombe familia ya Gashagua viongozi tano wa kanisa wale wataongoza hapo peke yao na ujumbe kidogo wa mheshimiwa rais ndio tutaweza kufuatana kwenye kaburi wengine tutaweza kufuatilia kutoka hapa na niombe sana kwa heshima kanisa tuendelee na maombi ya mwisho ah pare kwa kaburi tutaandamana na the two former moderators of the general assembly the presbytery moderator then the mount kenya legion chairman and one bishop kutoka ilitwa ni hapeka hal market ya huyo andamane na sisi so thank you so much i will invite uh, the former moderator jc to give us benedictions because we will not be able to come back here again before we leave this place and all the clergy will also join us as we give the benediction kindly let's be upstanding <laughs>